Welcome back everyone. This is the second part of our basic shapes in Python project. Um, in the previous project we created a graphical window and gave it a colored background and we did a large circle. So let's continue by showing you how to add a line. Alright, so we'll just name it line is equal to let's make it L for line is equal to line and then we need two points for a line so we'll do point 10 for the X and 10 for the Y and then we'll create the ending point by typing point parentheses and then we'll make it end at 100 and 200 on the X and the Y and then we'll need to close that line off with two parentheses we can then draw that line to the window which is would be the variable L that we set up here and then we use dot notation to call the draw method on the L object that we established and we want to do it on our canvas which we earlier set up as win. We can set the width of the line by saying L dot set width and we can set it to any width in numbers of pixels that we want. We'll just go ahead and set it to 4. And then we can also use the set outline um, to change its color. So we'll do L dot set outline and we'll change it to red. So let's go ahead and run this. The last to be saved and then the Python interpreter will come up and start running our program. And there you can see our line in the window. It starts at 1010 and ends at 100 and 200. If we want to adjust the line we can change the starting point by being farther along on the X. So we might choose 50 and 30 down on the Y and our ending point will go ahead and leave the same and you can also change the width to 6 to make it wider and fatter if you want and we can also change the color if we so choose by changing red to brown so let's go ahead and run it click OK and there you can see the difference between the two so we could add a series of lines to this project in, in a certain pattern if we wanted to add some type of art on top of our circle. Or if we were doing a smiley face, we might make a couple of lines to make eyebrows. We'll be doing something similar to this in the next um, session when we create our smiley face. Okay, the other thing that we can do besides lines um, and circles is we can draw ovals. And ovals, we'll set it equal to O, and we'll use OVAL needs two points here you can see the tuple P1 and P2 and these two points are the top left and the bottom right corners of the bounding box that surrounds the oval so if we wanted uh, an oval that was taller than wider then we would type point and we might start our oval um, at 150 and 100 and then our second point the x-axis wouldn't be much different so we'll do point and we'll only add 30 so we'll add 180 and then we'll we want our oval to be at the same well let's make it 100 pixels tall so on the y-axis we just wanna make it end at 200 and then again we'll just draw it to the window by o.draw and we'll set its width we'll just put 3 in this time and we'll set its use the set outline method to change its color and we'll set it to green so to give you some idea of the variety of colors that you can choose so let's go ahead and run it click run and then run module click OK to save it and there you can see uh, the one circle. 
Okay, if we wanted to make this oval wider rather than taller, can you tell me what we'd do? I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, so if this is the left bounding box corner, and this is the bottom right bounding box corner, and we want to make it wider, then it's probably the distance between these two needs to be greater. So we can either reduce the first one or increase the ending point on the x-axis to make it wider. So now it's not 30 wide, but it's 60 wide. And if we want it shorter, then maybe we want to change this to be 150, so it'd be 50 pixels shorter than previously. And then we could make it wider if we want. And let's just go ahead and run that and show you how that works. So there you go. Okay, let's get rid of these last two. Now, besides ovals, we can also do rectangles that could also be turned into squares. So let's try a basic rectangle first. A rectangle like an oval is defined by two points. So we're gonna go, just name it rect1, be simple. And we'll set it equal to um, our method rectangle, which is built into the graphics library in Python. And then we'll put in those two points. So we'll do point, and then let's start it at 75 and 75 on the x and y axis. And then our ending point, which would be the bottom right of the rectangle, would be point. And we'll just say, we'll make it small. So we'll just make it 100 and 120. And then we'll need to draw the rectangle to the window. I forgot an extra parenthesis at the end, so I'll go back and put that in. And then let's draw it to the window, so rect1.draw win, and then we'll set it, give it a color, rect1.setOutline, and we'll say, we'll make it blue, and then rect one dot set fill will make it red. Now if we wanted to set the width of our outline to be fat, we can do rect one dot set width and set it to five or four, whichever you prefer. So let's go ahead and run it. Click OK to save it, and there you can see the rectangle that it created. Now, if we wanted to change this into a square, how do we go ahead and do that? Well, um, the length and the height would be exactly the same. So in our tuple here, parameters, we're going from 75 to 100, but in the height, we're going from 70 to 200. So let's say we want it either side to be 25 wide, which we have here, and then we want the height to be 25 high, so we would need to change this from 120 to 100, and then rerun it, and that should give us a solid square. And that's it for this part two of our basic shapes tutorial. See you next time.